Do not be angry, beautiful nymph, begged Silenus. We do not come here as enemies, meaning to hurt you, but that sound, that wonderful sound of strange music, which excites us so. What is it, and who is making it? Come, that's better, smiled the nymph. You will learn by gentleness what you would never discover by force. Then know that I am Silene, the nymph of this mountain, and that I am the nurse to a son of Zeus and the star nymph Maya. His name is Hermes. He is truly a wonderful child. He is only six days old, and yet he grows at an amazing speed. As from the sound you heard, it was the child playing a strange thing which he has made out of a dead creature, which made no sound at all when it was alive. A dead creature? cried Silenus. Not a cow by any chance. What nonsense you talk! said Sarlene scornfully. The dead creature was a tortoise. Hermes has used its shell, that's all. He's made a wonderful new musical instrument by stretching a piece of ox heart across it and then stringing it with cow gut. Sarlene paused, realizing that she had said too much, and Silenus exclaimed triumphantly, There you are! He is the thief who has stolen Apollo's cattle! Do you dare to call the son of Zeus a thief? protested Sarlene. I tell you it's nonsense. A baby less than a week old doesn't go stealing cows. Don't swear by any oath you like that there isn't a single cow in the cave. Well, let's see this child anyhow, demanded Sarlenus, and Sarlene had no choice but to go and bring Hermes. Meanwhile, Apollo, searching far and wide, came to the further side of Mount Selene, and found their strange tracks just as Nasatus had found, and while he was puzzling over them, he came upon an old man called Battus, and pointing to the tracks, he questioned him. There have been cows passing this way, though the tracks lead mysteriously to the grazing ground from which they have been stolen. Tell me, old man, have you seen them, and do you know where they are?